I had stopped taking the taxi about a year ago. I was 23 at the time and working as a community nurse. It was during the Christmas season and my co-workers kept on pestering me to attend one of the yearly parties at the time. I can't say I was particularly excited. I've never really enjoyed heading out to bars, especially since I've always lived so far away, and getting home was always a stressful experience. But my partner at the time lived in the neighboring city, and he encouraged me to give it a go. Getting to know my co-workers outside of a hectic day in the healthcare system was certainly tempting. He finalized my decision by telling me he'd pay for the taxi to get home. I insisted he shouldn't, but I appreciated it. So that day I got the heels on, attended the party and had a good time. After staying at the locale we rented, my co-workers asked if I wanted to join them at a bar. I was hesitant but confident that I would get home safe. Safety has always been a really important thing for me, and I've always been taught to take care of myself and to make reasonable decisions. At the end of the night, I've had some drinks. I'm not intoxicated, but I've enjoyed the night with my co-workers. One of my co-workers suggests heading to her place for the night, and to try and build a relation, I decide to go. We take a taxi and everything is fine. When I arrive at my co-worker's place, however, I rethink my decision. It wasn't anything particularly wrong. I just kind of figured it would be nice to head home to my partner, so I wouldn't have to think about the travel the next day. So I tell her she won't need to stress about setting up a room for me and everything. I head back out again and call some random taxi company. I wait for a bit before I notice a taxi driving up to the sidewalk. I make the terrible decision to sit in the front seat. The man appears to not be from Norway. He's got stubble, dark hair and dark skin. I remember he spoke with a heavy accent. The conversation starts normal. He asks where I've been and if I've enjoyed myself. After a moment, he asks me if I'm Norwegian. I've got brown eyes, dark hair and slightly tan skin. It wasn't hard to figure, so I said no. But I was raised in Norway and considered myself a Norwegian. It was after that, the conversation started turning darker. He began talking about the Norwegian drinking culture and how women behaved recklessly. He began referring to women as whores and how they would carelessly have sex with men regardless of their marriage and dignity. I kind of went along with the conversation. Insulting the guy was the last thing I wanted to do. A terrifying feeling of control overwhelmed me. While I wasn't intoxicated, I really didn't want him to have any suspicion that I wasn't in control of the situation. The longer the car ride continued, the more personal it got. Where are you going? To my partner. How long have you two been together? About a year. Do you have sex often? The question caught me off guard and I kind of shrugged it off. I mumbled, I don't really talk about that. And a mild silence overwhelmed the car. The traffic light turned red at some point during the ride and he asked me to turn to him and come a little closer. I'm not really sure what you do at that point, but I turned to him, in which he looked into my eyes and told me that I had beautiful eyes. It was at this point that the alarms completely went off and I was completely convinced that I was in danger. That was the moment when I slowly began to undo my heels while the car was still in motion. I was ready to jump out of the car if I had to. It's only when I start recognizing the streets that I managed to calm myself down, that he was at the very least taking me to my destination. When he finally pulls up to my partner's driveway is when I quickly pay. My heels are already in my hand, and he doesn't get a second to finish his sentence before I bolt out of the car, barefoot, and into the house frantically. My partner wakes up and asks me what happened. 
The next day I spent an entire day contemplating if I should call the taxi company and complain. I questioned myself repeatedly, but then I remember that he called me at some point in the night to ask for my specific location, and the fear of him connecting the dots that it was me that complained about him catches me. I really regret that I never called in. I remember vividly looking down at my skirt, my heels and my top when he was talking about women in such a degrading way. And for a moment, I almost convinced myself that I was precisely what he was talking about. I wonder what would have happened if I had been more intoxicated, if I had less control of the situation, or if I wasn't heading to my partner. A lot could have gone wrong that night. I vividly remember reading in the newspaper three weeks later that there had been a taxi incident where a woman had been assaulted by a taxi driver. A month prior, my friend had nearly been dragged into the taxi because the taxi driver was begging her to have sex with him. All I'm saying is, stay safe out there girls. Always have a plan to get home.